You just have to make a choice at some point. Is it about the art or the money? What's up, homies? This is uh, Big Gus. I'm gonna let you people into my world for like a few seconds, so enjoy it. Tribal Gear family, Solid Gear, whatever representing, always. Tattooing worldwide on a world basis. Recognize, enjoy the clip. Peace out. Sit. Let me tell you about my hood, let me tell you about my block. So many hoodlums, so many cops. Too many Ways out, get paid or in the box. One way to win, do what you can and shake the spot from a crooked angle. A hey, homie, make my dust angel. The city block got me locked in a tight strangle. Graffiti bomb, city walls by the knife angle. At least two raw milli walls in the star spangle. That's what the border's for. Exercise the art of war. In the hood, but not in yours. That's when the shotties roll. Watch where you're at, man. The streets in the constant fall. Or try to be a hero. That's what the cops are for. Been tattooing over like going on 16 years total if you add my what we call the homemade years. Came to where I am today because of my art skills, you know. Didn't didn't waste it. Didn't I mean even working in like warehouse jobs and shit, I would still always be hustling with artwork. Whether it was spray painting or, or airbrushing someone's car or we're tattooing at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Like, you gotta live and breathe and truly understand every aspect of life with artwork. It's really gotta be like your way of life. Like, I always say that artwork is a way of life, because it truly is. Well, that's me, man. I tattoo. I do graffiti, acrylics, oil paints, watercolors, markers, color pencils. Like, I'll use anything to draw. Whatever works. I still. I'm here at Tribal Warehouse, part of the Tribal family. Well, we got a lot of dope, dope bats and range artwork in here. We got Abel, Risk, myself. Just like ridiculous numbers of artists, but check her out, look around, Let's see what's up. up to Big Gus, you know what I'm saying? You want to get a good tattoo? You got to talk to my man, you know? That's how we do it. One love, travel, all day. What's up, everybody? I'm Love from POD. Uh, giving a shout out to my boy, Gus. Uh, my name's Bobby Ruiz. I'm uh, president of Tribal Streetwear, Tribal Gear International. Uh, probably one of the dopest tattoo artists that I personally met. 
I've known Gus for probably a couple years now. He's the homie and uh, he's very um, respected in the tattoo community. So I met him a few years back at a travel party and I thought, honestly to myself, I thought, dude, this is like one of the baddest pieces I've seen. It is one of my favorite paintings. It's an amazing painting. I feel really fortunate to, uh, to own it. And I gave him so much props and I actually made it like a screensaver on my phone. And every time I would see him, I'd be like, dude, check it out, dude, it's my favorite piece still. Gus is definitely within the past couple years, I think he's really made a name for himself by working really hard and just um, putting out some, some really incredible work, both uh, his tattoo work and his work on canvas and what he's able to do with an airbrush. He was kind enough to go back home and actually do that same piece and he actually did it on the canvas for me. So I have it up in my house in my drum room. Nah, Gus is a man. He's, a, he's the homie and I really look forward to uh, to working with him some more in the future. This, I got my Gus piece right there, man. It's probably one of the best gifts that I've ever gotten from somebody as an artist like that. So that's what's up, Gus. Well, P.O.D. What's up, Brian here, Solon Clothing. Uh, I'm the creative director. I work a lot with Big Gus on t-shirt designs. What's going on, guys? My name is Jeremy Hanna. I'm the co-owner of Solon Clothing. Over the last three years, getting to know Big Gus, he's become one of our best friends. He's one of our favorite artists. He's one of the go-to guys when it comes to a lot of the shirts that Ryan has ideas for. Worked on the Fallen Angel, which is our number one best-selling shirt of all time. Because of that, we've done like three or four shirts together, and they've all been huge hits. Well, but seriously, we're here at Meeting of the Styles. It's a uh... It's like a real big thing, man. It's worldwide. And we got graffiti artists, we got, I mean, we got tattoo artists, digital artists, all medium artists. Hertzky. Oh, man. How's it going, baby? How's it going? What's up, what's up, what's up? This is the man responsible for getting you back into painting. I, <laughs> I never did none of that. <laughs> Some of us haven't seen each other in years, to be honest. All right, so I'm gonna get to working on this piece. What I'm doing is, I'm doing like a big angel, like an LA scene thing with like, I guess like LA in the background, like some buildings to represent the river, you know what I mean? It's kind of where I grew up and where I came from. So check it out, I'm gonna get back to work on this thing. I've been doing graffiti since I was nine years old and I started in this riverbed actually. This is my city, man. That's what I represent, but this is where I was born and raised, man, so I love this shit. You like to airbrush? I like to paint the walls. I started writing on walls when I was nine. Started airbrushing when I was like 14 in the swamp meet. Started tattooing, growing up over there in LA and stuff. Didn't really grow up in the, I guess in the nicest neighborhood or whatever you want to call it, but I had a bunch of homies up that were way older than me. Long story short, I, oh, you got you gotta tattoo us, you know? Never ever picked up any type of tattoo needle or anything in my life. And I just went for it. And that was it, man. I was, I was fucking hooked after that. I went to a tattoo shop with one of my friend's dads after that. And I saw him tattooing right there in the chair. And I was like, oh, that's what I want to do when I grow up, you know? So all my homies that I don't see no more, I thank you very much. But you got me to where I'm at today. Uh, just painting all the time, tattooing, trying to hustle. Because it's all hustling. You ain't going to do shit if you don't hustle. You ain't gonna do nothing unless you actually go work for that shit. Hopefully you guys enjoy the time lapse of this video because it's going to be sick. Hope you guys learn something too. Don't be scared of this. This. That's what's up, love. That's what's up. That's how we do it, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure that's how we do that shit. <laughs>
to me, Gus is more than just an artist, his family. Yeah, Big Gus is definitely one of the homies. He's family for life, for sure. Uh, Big Gus is the man. Arts Way of Life, the Gus, peace.